We move on to Kenya now, where former President Daniel Arap Moy has been laid to rest in his hometown of Kabarak in the Rift Valley region. Thousands of Kenyans were at the venue and others followed the proceedings on giant screens mounted at Afra Stadium in the Nakuru County. Several dignitaries attended the burial service that was led by the Africa Inland Church, where the former president worshipped. Arap Moy died last week at a private hospital in the capital, Nairobi. Roby at the age of 95, nearly two decades after leaving office. President Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa is set to deliver the 2020 State of the Nation Address in Parliament, his third in two years. This address comes at a time when the country is battling a snow economic growth, ballooning government debt, high unemployment and ailing state-owned enterprises. But on Tuesday, the president commemorated 30 years since Nelson Mandela's release from Victor Vesta prison on Sunday, February 11, 1990. Cyril Ramaphosa addressed Addressed a large crowd gathered at the Cape Town City Hall where Mandela made his first speech after being imprisoned for nearly three decades. On February 11, 1990, Nelson Mandela walked out of the Victor Vesta prison, his first steps of freedom after nearly three decades behind bars. From the steps of the Cape Town City Hall, he had this to say. I have fought against white domination. And I have fought against black domination. I have cherished the idea of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony. But today, the man holding his microphone is current president, Cyril Ramaphosa. And on Tuesday, the anniversary of Mandela's release, he stood on the same spot. 30 years ago, we stood here with this very man who is standing next to me. He stood here to speak, and I held a microphone as he spoke for the very first time. It was here when we received Nelson Mandela and celebrated his release from prison. The 11th of February will forever be remembered as one of those most memorable days in the history of the world. After his release from prison, Mandela wasted no time in guiding South Africa from the shackles of apartheid to multiracial democracy. And Mr. Ramaphosa says South Africa should be proud of his achievement in entrenching that democracy, but there is still more to be done to fulfill his legacy. Millions of our people continue to live in poverty, Millions of our people, especially young people, are unemployed. The divide between the haves and the have-nots continues to widen. We must intensify our efforts to make good on the promise made by Madiba and his generation of leaders to bring a better life to our people. Mandela's decision to voluntarily step down after one five-year term as president was seen as a shining example to other African leaders who stubbornly hold on to power, and he remained a global advocate for peace and justice until his death in 2013. Still to come on the program. We meet a Kenyan sculptor who's turning scrap metal into art, but he also has a message to share. That's in a moment, stay with us.